Hydrogen peroxide is a versatile substance that has many uses from personal care products such as hair and teeth bleaching to industrial applications like whitening cellulose pulp or textile fibers. It is also used as a biocide in the food and beverage industry and in agriculture, as a pharmaceutical antiseptic or as a formulation ingredient in cleaning and detergent products. In the wrong hands, hydrogen peroxide could be misused to manufacture homemade explosive devices. Unfortunately, this has happened several times in recent years. Producers have cooperated and supported regulators for many years to prevent hydrogen peroxide from being used for illicit purposes. In order to further increase awareness along the entire supply chain, we have developed this training tool to explain what your obligations are to comply with the law and help safeguard the public. According to Regulation EU 2019-1148 on the marketing and use of explosive precursors, Hydrogen peroxide is listed in Annex 1 as Restricted Explosive Precursor, a chemical substance which can be used to make explosives by adding other substances. What are your obligations? Firstly, you must ensure that you do not give the general public access to the hydrogen peroxide at a concentration above 12% unless certain circumstances are met, including a license granted by the authorities, demonstrable need, background as well as identification of the applicant and compliant storage arrangements. All sales of hydrogen peroxide above 35% to the general public are forbidden. Secondly, you must inform your customer that the acquisition, introduction, possession or use of hydrogen peroxide by members of the general public is subject to a restriction and reporting obligations. This information must be included in the safety data sheets or on the label. It is also your duty to ensure that your personnel involved in the sales of hydrogen peroxide to professional users and the general public is aware of which products are affected and they are trained on the obligations of the regulation. Records of these trainings need to be kept. Thirdly, a mandatory verification upon sale is also required. This must include proof of identity and detailed company information as well as intended use. Records need to be kept for a minimum of 18 months and made available for inspection at the request of the national enforcement authorities. Lastly, all suspicious transactions, significant disappearances and thefts must be reported to the national contact points within 24 hours of detection. It is important to remember that the regulation can also apply to mixtures. In addition to the chemicals listed in Annex 1 and 2, Mixtures can be considered regulated explosive precursors if they contain five ingredients or less, including an explosive precursor in any concentration, or they contain an explosive precursor of a concentration higher than 1%. If a mixture is considered as regulated explosives precursor, you are obliged to Inform your customers that the acquisition, introduction, possession or use of the mixtures containing hydrogen peroxide by members of the general public is subject to reporting obligations. Report all suspicious transactions, significant disappearances and thefts to the national contact points within 24 hours of detection. Preventing the misuse of hydrogen peroxide is the responsibility of the entire supply chain, starting from the producer all the way down to the retailer and professional end user. We, as an industry, take this matter very seriously and encourage you to do the same. For additional information, contact your supplier or the producer as indicated in the safety data sheet or on the label.